In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to set up a wallet with Coach Farm. So first off, what you need to do is you first need to have a wallet installed in your browser. So we are going to be using either a, uh, a browser extension. In this case, we are going to be going over the MetaMask wallet. You can have a hardware wallet. There's lots of different kind of wallets out there, but to make it simple, uh, we're going to focus on the most popular one, which is going to be MetaMask. So we're going to show you how to set up your wallet in MetaMask. So before you even go to set up a wallet um, in Coach Farm, we have to have a wallet first. In this case, we're going to have a software wallet here called MetaMask. You can see that I have the icon here in the upper right-hand corner of my Chrome browser. When I click on this, you can also see that I've already connected it to the Polygon network. So there's other tutorials on how to set up your MetaMask. We have a blog post, which I may include here, or we may have another screencast on this at some point. So anyway, we're going to set up, and we need to set up the Polygon network here, and it needs to be connected to Polygon. So you need to be logged into MetaMask before we even start this. All right, so with that being said, Let's now go and connect your wallet. We're here at the vaults page of Coach Farm, and this technique will work in any different page. You have a button up here called Connect Wallet on every page on Coach Farm. So you wanna click on that, and then you'll see a list of all the different wallets that we support. Now, if there's a wallet on here that, that you use, that you want to use, you still might be able to use it, you can click on Wallet Connect. Wallet Connect is a, a protocol that allows you to connect many different wallets together. So you may get lucky, um, you may not. But for this tutorial, we're going to cover MetaMask, which is one of the most popular software wallets out there. So if you already have MetaMask set up, you simply click on MetaMask, and now you see that it's done. That's all there is to is simply one click. And you'll see over here, you'll have your MetaMask wallet address up here. And now if you click on this, you'll see the option to copy address or disconnect wallet if you wanted to. So if you are, you know, if you don't think you'll use Coach Farm again, or, you know, if you want to disconnect it for any reason whatsoever, you would click on disconnect wallet here. Now you notice that the screen changed a little bit whenever I did that, because whenever you connect a wallet, it remembers all those different connections and the actions that you performed in that wallet. I've already been on Coach Farm a lot, and I've deposited and withdrawed uh, in lots of different vaults. So you can see here that in the actions page, which we'll go over this in another tutorial, the you know how to deposit and withdraw, but you'll see here in the actions pane, you have deposit and withdraw. Some of these you'll have enable vaults. That will definitely change because once you have that wallet connect, it knows which vaults that you have given permission to Coach Farm to, um, to interact with. So you see, I haven't given Coach Farm permission to interact with this vault because that's why we need to enable it. However, the Coach Coin Vault, I have. I'll see Deposit and Withdrawal, so I don't have to go through that enable process. So that's about it. As far as um, just getting your, your wallet connected and set up with Coach Farm, that's all there is to it.